Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of In the Booth, where we interview voice actors and actresses of Machinimas, Fan Dubs, The Bridge Series, and any online web series. I'm your host, JD Carr, and today our guest is Kat, or Suki Mousy. Hi. So, Kat, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for doing this little interview. You're welcome. It's been, like, we've been putting it off for a while. I guess, first things first, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, okay, so, like, I've been on YouTube for probably, like, 12 years something like that i started when i was like 11 i think Mm -hmm. um i started off doing covers for a long time i took up two year hiatus and then when i came back i was still doing covers but like it wasn't like it didn't like make me that happy doing it and i started doing voice acting and like Mm -hmm. i started really enjoying doing that so i do that more now than i do covers nice I guess what got you into voice acting, besides, you know, from the covers? Uh, well, I actually was into voice acting when I was younger, but, like, I actually had done mm. a scene when I was, like, 12 or something, and it was so bad. It was the worst thing I've ever heard. I still have it on my channel, but it's, like, on, on private. And ever since then, I was like, okay, I'm not going to do voice acting anymore. <laughs> but then... Like, a couple years ago, I was like, I'm going to try it again. And I did. And, like, I obviously had improved since I was little. Even though I haven't taken, like, an acting class, like, ever. Because I'm very stage frighty. Oh. Um, do you remember, like, your first ever, I guess, voice role? Or, I guess, like, the first thing you've done voice-wise? The first thing I did? Okay, yeah. yeah. It was the scene from Higurashi. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. <laughs> where Rena kills Ritsuko in, like, the dump. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I did. Oh, nice. Um, let's see. I guess from then till now, what have been your favorite role or roles that you've done? Could be, you know, anything from, like, comics or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I like, I really like doing, like, Violet for you. Oh, for the, the Fire Emblem ones? Yeah, for the Fire Emblem ones. And then... Um, probably Sato from Happy Sugar Life, that scene that I did with Jelly. Ah, uh, yeah. Because I don't get to do, like, a lot of Yandere characters yandere's. like that. Yeah, and it's, like, fun to do those. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, fun question for you. I'm pretty sure you have, you've seen, like, a lot of <laughs> anime cartoons and even played a lot of video games. Um, yeah. favorite voice actors and actresses, like, top of your head. L- um, like, English or Japanese? Either or is fine. Well, you know I love Miyano Mamoru. That's my king. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Most of them are, like, Japanese voice actors and actresses that I like. Um, I can't think of... An English one that I really like at the moment. I used to really like, um, like an like an older one. I used to like Chris Patton a lot. Hmm. Um. But currently, I've you know I like, um, yeah, Miyana Mamoru and Kensho Ono, Al Yuki, Yuki Kaji. Hmm. Um. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Well, those are just the ones that I can think of at the okay. top of my head. I guess, is there, like, a specific type of voice that you haven't done yet that you really want to do? Or actually voices mm-hmm. in general that you want to do? Not specifically that I can think of. Um, I guess I would like to do more, like, mature-sounding roles, like the deeper voice, because I usually get roles that require me to do the higher voices Mm -hmm. so probably those but that's about it okay and i'm probably sure that like even after all these years you probably had like some funny recording stories so like anything happened to you when you were recording lines or something happened like out not out of the ordinary but like Any mishaps while recording for lines or in the booth? Always. (laughs) Always. But, like, I mean, as you know, like, my dog passed away a couple months ago. 
But um, every time I would record, I swear to God, he would be <laughs> like the phone would ring. The phone would ring all the time. And like when the phone would do that, he would start howling in the middle of it. I'm like, bro, can you stop? You said you mentioned covers. So what got you into covers in the first place? Oh, so like when I was little, I used to see people doing covers on YouTube. And I was like, how do people do that? And back then, you know, all you really had was Windows Movie Maker. So I found out you could record on there. And I was like, whoa, I can make covers. So I started doing that. Nothing, like, nobody really um, kind of inspired me to make covers. That's just something that I always just wanted to do myself. Mm -hmm. What has it been, I guess, or actually, no, what was, like, your first cover that you had, like, fond memories doing? Oh, Oh my god. Um let me think. It was so long ago. I think I think my first cover was for Mermaid Melody. Ah Mermaid Melody. Yeah, Mermaid Melody. I'm pretty sure it was for Mermaid Melody, because that was really popular back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. Um, I guess from then till now, what has been your favorite color uh, colors? <laughs> what have been your favorite <laughs> covers to do? Oh, okay. So, um, my favorite cover that I have is the Ruby opening. Uh, the first one. Yeah. Ah, uh, nice. That's, that's, like, I think that's my best one. Have you ever collaborated with anyone else on, like, a song covers? Yeah, a lot of people, but, <laughs> um, I guess within the community, it, like, grew a lot more, so a lot of people stopped, um collabing or casually uh it's like it like that community just feels like a competition now i don't i don't like being associated with the people in there now like most of them because like everybody's just trying to compete with everybody and it's it's like kind of toxic yeah and then like there are times when people like seen like recently that people tend to do like the same song covers but then people kind of argue like oh no like these lyrics go with this or like that's not the that's not the right translation but like it kind of fits mm -hmm. the english translation so it's like a whole lot of headbutting with other people or even like viewers too it's like oh no this one sounds better no, yeah this one. like you're probably not that familiar with the community for singing but like they made these things called chorus battles, and basically you, like, get a team together, and you get, like, vocalists, a mixer, an animator, and there's, like, different rounds, and, you know, there's judges that judge you on each round, and whoever passes, like, wins something, usually, like a prize. I don't know what kind of prize, I think it differs. And they tend to be but, biased. Yeah, and, like, a lot of the times, the people who enter... um, the people who win are, like, more popular in the community. Like, they're more mm. well-known. So, like, I can't stand chorus battles. I think they're they're really shitty for, like, people's self-esteem as well. Because imagine being in round one constantly and you never get past round one because you don't have as good as resources as the more, the more popular singers. Uh -huh. Usually for, like, I guess, going back to voice acting, um, I guess for your personal projects like who do you often tend to collaborate with um mostly you sometimes uh kodiak king kodiak for people that don't know um sometimes um like leafy asks me to be in her stuff mm -hmm. and vice versa um I'm trying to think who else like there's not many people I tend to ask because I'm not good with speaking to people. So <laughs> I try to stick with who I usually get. But sometimes I do want to get new people just so I have, like, more variety. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been in a couple of Nova's things as well. Oh, like the online show, sort of like uh, the P5 shit. Well, not really yeah, shit, but like the funny, the funny comics <laughs> the memes. The, there you go, the memes, the funny P5 <laughs> yeah. memes. Yep. Oh, Futaba. <laughs> yeah, usually Futaba. I think that's mostly it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm down to always collab with other people. It's just I don't 
I'm there. I get nervous when I talk to people <laughs> that I don't Aww. know. <laughs> Um, most of the times, on average, when you do a song cover, how long does it usually take mainly just to, like, I guess, find a instrumental and then recording the vocals and then the mixing and then just doing any post-processing? How long does that take for you to do for song covers? Mm, the instrumental, it depends on the song because some songs don't have instrumentals that they released officially. So um, sometimes I try to look for, like, a remix somebody made or, like, some kind of instrument cover that somebody made but um depending on on that I, it takes like not that long to find an instrumental um for vocals though i'm very picky with <laughs> my own vocals so <laughs> it takes me like two hours just to f- like record a tv size uh because sometimes it would range from like 120 or even like 140 depending mm-hmm. on the song. Yeah. And mixing, um, I'm not very good at mixing either, but that takes me, I think, like, also a couple hours. Alongside song covers, like, I see you sometimes do comic dubs, so do you sometimes like the short comics or sometimes want to do even, like, long comics? Um, I would do both. It's just um, you got to, like, ask... The artist for permission, you gotta wait for that. Um, the, like, long comics are fine for me. It's just, it's hard to get motivation a lot of the times to actually edit them. But, I mean, short comics are fine too. I like both of them, so it doesn't really matter to me. Sometimes you want to do these fancy editing style, not editing styles, but more like the fancy editing but it's very tedious because you know the lines blend in with the 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 character bubble or you can't mm-hmm. even like blend in well with, when you don't want to do like a special effect or a funny visual gag because yeah, said line but... or like effect doesn't have like a blank background and so you can't do any funny transitions or something like that yeah but i'm not, i don't know how to do all that kind of editing so <laughs> <laughs> I just do this simple erase. The erase dialogue. and then paste. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure down the line you will get the those skill sets eventually. Maybe. Okay, so you probably heard this question so many times at a job, but like I guess where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, sir, I don't even know where I'm gonna see myself tomorrow, like I don't know. That's a that's a hard question because like you know what in school they used to ask you that and you're just like yeah. I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. You like you never really know. Anything could happen. All right, I guess we're nearing the end here. So, um Kat, you got any advice for anyone that wants to get into voice acting or even start doing song covers? Um, let's see. I guess it's hard. It's like easy to be like comparing yourself to other people and how their covers or their um, voice work sounds and be like, damn, I don't sound like that. Like maybe I'm not that good. Or, you know, maybe you're not worth doing what you want to do. But I, w- I say you should, um, you should do what makes you happy because a lot of people. A lot of people don't think that they're going to, you know, get anywhere in singing or voice acting. But if it makes you happy, I don't understand why you would stop doing it, you know? Wise words, wise words. Anyways, Kat, thank you for joining me in this episode of In the Booth. Yep. Yep, and this concludes this episode of In the Booth. So until next time, bye guys.